Let's go! We're kicking off Power Hour NFL with a film study on the Kansas City Chiefs final two game-winning Super Bowl drives. Let's start off by sharing uh, some very important context that during the course of the game, Kansas City's offense just was not good at all until San Francisco decided to get conservative. This is way too conservative for me. This is clear quarters, and I don't want to go out going up against Patrick Mahomes, letting him dink and dunk his way up and down the field to Travis Kelsey and his tight ends, okay? That right there, I understand you're wanting to be conservative. That is cowardly defense right there. They had not beaten you over the top the entire game outside of that one deep shot that should have been intercepted. All right, so we get to here, and this drove me crazy. With the game on the line, look at all this space underneath right here. I hate when you play a flat line like this defensively, right? Um, this time, they actually do get very exotic. Mahomes likes to throw in the direction of the blitz. They, you know, fan out, fire zone, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, the defensive end right here, Chase Young, into the flats. And Mahomes sees that this player takes an inside angle. So he knows all he has to do is break this contain and he's going to have a positive gain. But look at all these open players, right? Why why do you change things right in this portion of the game, right? You're just making things a lot easier for this man. Now we get to my favorite play call of this game. Okay, it's first and 10. Andy Reid's still seeing that you're playing quarters on your heels type of defense, and he's going to keep hitting these underneath routes, okay? And this is the sexiest version I saw of it. 12 personnel, you're bringing this tight end over here. Travis Kelsey's not even in the game. So right here defensively, I, I, I want to be somewhat aggressive. Instead, I know you're only rushing four, and you're playing very soft coverage, and this is really well designed, okay? You are getting... Um, a vertical here and the ball actually goes to the tight end who initially chips okay so he chips down Patrick Mahomes knows that this vertical is going to carry this overhang um, defender right here and this player goes out into the flats and this delay from the tight end is going to leave him unaccounted for right here and bang that's just easy easy stuff bam okay uh, look at all this space for him to run through. I, I I don't quite get what Wilkes was thinking towards the end of this game. Just keep doing what you're doing. Okay, and it's kind of the same thing. I saw Kyle Shanahan frustratingly take a timeout in the overtime. Why are you doing this, right? This flat line. If you're going to do this, do something a lot more exotic. But if you're this far back, look, you're not even lined up properly here. Patrick Holmes knows that the comeback route is going to be here. And look at how easy it was for them to basically get into field goal range at this point with an elite kicker, right? The goal is to win the game. And playing cowardly defense like this is just giving Patrick Mahomes all the leverage here. All right, here we go, third and two. And one thing that the Chiefs do a good job of is giving the thought that an intended receiver is blocking at first, but instead that's where they're actually throwing the football. So you saw a minute ago, Gray fake like he's chipping Nick Bosa and then actually go out on the route. Same thing is true here, but a little bit different with McKinnon, okay? He's actually acting like he is blocking the edge player right here, but instead he's actually just going out into the flats for a wide open first down on third and two. Pat, look at how easy that is for him. You're letting one of the best quarterbacks of all time get something that easy. Rice was also open. That right there is just a really good play call. But, you know, going in, Patrick Mahomes is just too good. First and 10, and I think the best player on the field was Hargrave, right? Last year, he was on the field when Patrick Mahomes had these killer scrambles up the middle. And right here, he sees... Once again, these DBs in man coverage, and then he sees this wide open gaping hole to run through. Look at Har Hargrave against his double team, do a really good job retracing his steps. Um, Armstead did the same thing as well. Retrace your steps, then make this play, because if you don't, he's got all this room to run through. So Tony wanted the Chiefs to spike it right here. Um and I get that logic. I'm also okay with just throwing an incompletion. If you don't see anything just wide open right here, just throw an incompletion and allow the clock to stop. 
One thing that's very interesting is Rice never actually looked for this ball. Okay, he's looking for it now. Excuse me. Uh, he doesn't actually throw it, and he just throws his football away. That's really, really good stuff. All right, so we get to this third and seven. And one very underrated storyline was Dre Greenlaw just getting hurt running off the field. That is absolutely ridiculous uh, because, you know, you have to play with a backup linebacker. And this is just really good stuff by Mahomes. He sees that this linebacker has outside leverage. It's a game-winning uh, drive right here on third and seven. And you got to get the football to someone. Want to get it to Travis Kelsey on a deep crosser right here hate this placement from the safeties okay um this for me is a do or die down if they beat me over the top for a game-winning touchdown so the f be it right i am playing this snap right here as if it's my last okay i'm having everyone play far more aggressive and i'm not letting kelsey go cross field there's a piece of me that thinks Fred Warner had thought he had inside help with Kelsey because you can see his eyes. They're actually on the quarterback. They're not actually on Kelsey. Uh, I'm thinking maybe he thought this backer was going to pick him up. Maybe Greenlaw does pick up this crosser right here. And, man, this is just a really good design um, to get Kelsey this football here. And this tight end's job right here is to just get in the way of Warner just a little bit but not actually touch him. That's really good design. I just hate how far back those safeties were in that spot. If they beat me over the top for a touchdown, so the F be it. I'm just trying my best to stop them but uh, before the sticks and force them to kick a game-tying field goal from distance. So I saw a chilling next-gen stat that said that was the fastest Travis Kelsey had run all year uh, as a ball carrier. So now we get to here. Ball snapped on the ground. And we go back to the actual... Um, play here. Rice is open for the game-winning touchdown in the Super Bowl, and you can throw this because you have one timeout, right? If you throw this right here and he catches it in stride and and, and he stops short, call your timeout and uh, kick the field goal. All things considered, I'm okay taking a one-on-one -on -one option right here to Travis Kelsey to see if he can catch it. Look at this freaking ball placement right here. Um, Travis Kelsey going up against Fred Warner. Uh, Warner has leverage on him. Still, look at this ball placement, okay? Perfect. Absolute perfect. It's just better coverage. That's excellent stuff right there from Warner. So we now get to the game-winning, game-winning drive. And the thing that sucks about Super Bowls is, especially with the loser, players in the losing effort, they are not remembered at all, okay? So I want you to see, once again, Steve Wilkes, very conservative defensively. This corner, seven yards off the ball. This corner, seven yards off the ball. These safeties, 15 yards back. And Wilkes is daring um, Kansas City to run this football. And Hargrave was the best player on the field. And for the second straight year, he falls short to Patrick Mahomes. So look at him take on this double, sit very heavy on it, split it, and then eventually make this tackle right here on Pacheco. That is re-freaking-dunculous stuff right there. All right, so we get to here. And what's very interesting is this looks like this ended up being some variation of zone, which is crazy to think about because this player actually ran with um, Rice to the other side of the field. So it makes you think that it's man coverage, but it's not. Still, it's very soft. Look, this linebacker is all the way far back. The vertical from Kelsey carried um, a 54 Wagner out of the play. And look at all this green grass, right? And it's underneath. You got to remember, time right now serves no purpose, okay? The Chiefs are going to get to keep the ball um, regardless. So that is an easy completion. It sets up a third and medium. All right, third and one. And I have never seen a defensive tackle play this well in this type of spot, not named Chris Jones. It's Hargrave again. Look at this on this third and one. Splits this double, okay? Swims it, and, you know, the center goes and peels off Fred Warner, and some of this is Fred Warner just drawing so much attention. Hargrave splits that double, and look at this play. Bang! Stops a good running back right in his tracks. 
Good job by 48 peeling off right here and helping make this play. And now we get to this fourth down. All right, so we get to this fourth and one. And I do have two really major big issues. Major big. That didn't sound smooth at all. Two big issues from a San Francisco standpoint. So Kansas City burned a timeout to get into the spot. What I would have done is right now call a timeout, right? Make them have to get out of this play and show their hand because obviously with fourth and one with the Super Bowl on the line, they're going to call their absolute best play. The second thing, and this one makes absolutely freaking lutely no sense whatsoever. It is fourth and in inches, and you're going to play too high safety right here with 15 plus yards to go. I get the logic, okay? Um, you, you, you're you're wanting to force them to drive all the way down the field and score, right? But not in this spot. I would have been far more aggressive, and you're just basically giving away the Super Bowl here, okay? If they would have wanted to run for it, sure. They probably are getting it here with this look. But I would have called a timeout, forced them to get something else, and I also wouldn't have been playing both of my safeties at this depth. So you got a little split zone action. You motion Travis Kelsey here to the left side and then bring him back to the right. So Mahomes has an option. If he wants to run it, he can. If he wants to slip it out to Kelsey, he can. And, man, I want you to see how soft these corners were playing. This is fourth and one with the Super Bowl on the line. And your corner is playing like this, this far off? That makes absolutely no sense. If Mahomes wanted to throw this right here to Rasheed Rice, he could have. This is a smart decision here to just run for it um, and and just pick up the needed yards right there. It's a good block by Rice down the field. That's just too freaking easy. I would have been destroying my DC in this spot. All right, so we get to here, and it's the same thing, okay? Very soft stuff. Their receivers had not been beating you. And look at this. If he wanted to throw this to Kelsey, look at how many yards he's gaining after the catch. So he gets this out to MVS, and this is a play where he actually lost him 10 yards right here after getting spun around um, and, and going backwards, okay? Right there, you obviously just want to cut up field and give yourself the forward progress. So this ends up being a very lucky play for the 49ers, and it sets up a second and 14. All right, if I'm Kyle Shanahan, I am ripping my DC a new one, okay? It's the same thing. I hate this. This just makes absolutely no sense. Uh, if you're going to play on your heels all at the same length, Mahomes just knows that these underneath routes, that, that's just too much space to just play pitch and catch. And once he sees you are maxing out your blitzes, all you have to do is just throw past this first wave. I hate defenses that don't create multiple layers, whether it's in the pass rush or in the defense. You only have two layers of defense right here. There's no twists. There's no real stunts. Um, and that's too easy. It really is just too easy. I understand in second and 14, you want to be conservative. But when you give this much space to this guy, he could break a tackle and, and do something special. And this time, MVS does a smart thing just to fall forward and take the yards that are given to him. All right, it's third and six. And guess what? They run the same exact play, okay? They're bringing everyone. I don't like zero blitz in Patrick Mahomes. He's just too good. Andy Reid sees this okay so the 49ers when they played the lions last week they showed this look and they actually busted out a cover two variant okay but now it's just mesh okay a very simple mesh concept you're running two shallow drags right here it's the perfect man beater versus a zero blitz and it's actually picked up fine okay um you know, are we going to get into a holding call right here? Is that holding on MVS, uh, on, on McKinnon? Maybe that is, but either way, that's just too easy, okay? Way too easy on this third and six. And what's very funny about that is, um, man, this, this would have been even more open. I, I would need a wider angle to see if that would have been as open as that looked but man that's just way 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 too easy uh right there versus one of the best quarterbacks of all time all right so we get to second and six and kyle shanahan calls a timeout and 
Yeah, I, I would be furious if I'm an offensive head coach having to save my defense from doing this nonstop. Man, that just it's it's just not smart, right? All right, so now we get to here, and man, Hargrave had such a great game, but this is actually the other DT Givens. If he is able to keep his feet right here, this isn't as big of a gain as it is. Um but they're able to complete this screen. If he would have been able to keep his feet, it would have helped this. This is just an absolute ridiculous play right here by Fred Warner yet again to bring him down that well. Uh, I felt that was a rough spot, but it sets up a third and short. So remember uh, earlier they were able to pass rush lane integrity and not let Mahomes pick it up. Uh, third and one in the red zone right here. I don't mind more too high looks in this spot. Make them have to convert in the red zone to win uh, a Super Bowl. On fourth and one, I would want these guys to be a little bit closer, but that's okay. Um, man, no Hargrave in this spot. Kind of a tough spot. I understand he was tired, but you lose your pass rush lane integrity. Does Armstead have a chance to make this play versus Mahomes? No. Um, but he's able to run forward and pick up this first down and then some. Okay, he's able to run around Fred Warner. And now Mahomes, I mean, you're probably thinking right now, dang, is he going to actually run this in to win the Super Bowl? It'd be nuts. And you can see it here. You know, during the regular season, Mahomes just doesn't run as much. You know, I had the over on his rushing prop because in big Super Bowls, uh, guess what? He, he's going to tuck and run. And that's exactly what he does right up the gut. And that right there is very, very, very easy. I just would have gotten out of too high. Uh, I would have shown uh, s some different looks at this point in the drive. All right, so what makes Patrick Holmes and Andy Reid so great? You know, in the red zone, I think it's more Reid than it is Mahomes, but this is a good mixture of both, okay? This play design is so freaking unbelievably filthy. I understand Corn Dog, the play that we're about to break down, is going to be the one that's discussed ad nauseum. This right here, okay? If you were to go through and look at each of the big completions in the drive we already broke down in this one, a good bit of them are completions to guys that leak, right? Or they show like they're doing one thing and they're doing the next, okay? So this looks like a simple running back um, little swing screen right here, and it makes a lot of sense, right? Once again, it is um, a variation of quarters on this side, and it looks like two on this side. So if they're that far back, let's work the underneath. And you'll see that what Mahomes does to Nick Bosa here is filthy, okay? This is a good job by Travis Kelsey selling this screen, okay? Mahomes is looking right, and it looks like it's a quick screen to Pacheco. And if you were to stop it right here, you're probably thinking, oh, my God, Nick Bosa is about to intercept this for the game-winning Super Bowl. And you can see Nick Bosa is like, oh, my God, I'm about to intercept this. But it's actually the guy that was initially blocking him that they're running the screen towards. And I want you to see the flow that this fake right here from Mahomes does to these backers. Look at Fred Warner all the way out here. This is ridiculous that Warner even saw this that quickly. Most linebackers would have been flying way over this, and Kelsey's probably scoring. But, man, I want you to see this, okay? Think of yourself as Nick Bosa. Mahomes looks like he's throwing out to the right. He's actually just throwing this to Kelsey, okay? And that is just nasty play design. And this was a good job by Kelsey. This is some really impressive running. Hargrave sees Kelsey. I want you to see Hargrave again. He reads the screen so quickly. God, this guy was phenomenal in this game. So unfreaking believably phenomenal. Um, look at him read this screen, okay? And then n instead of going around here, he knows he's not catching any screener. He then works over the top of this, and then Kelsey sees it and sees that there's nothing there. So he actually cuts back against the grain where Hargrave was. That is ridiculous stuff. Ken Law's not really a playmaker, so he misses that tackle, and Fred Warner misses a tackle, and now you're thinking, wow, Travis Kelsey is going to win the Super Bowl here. Um, look at this. I mean, it's just a ridiculous, ridiculous play uh, design right there, and some good piece of running by Travis Kelsey. And you'll see it right here. Um, 
you're thinking if you're Nick Bosa that, I mean, look, he's looking right into the eyes of Mahomes, and then it's just Kelsey underneath. There's just nothing you could do about that if you're Bosa, right? Do you just stick with Kelsey the entire time? Maybe. But that is just so, so, so tough. And that's what makes Andy Reid so freaking good. These um, these leak play designs are just too tough to stop. Lane Kiffin at the next level is really good at that, as is the Washington um, brass. So there you go. All right, so now we get Corn Dog. Okay, this is a play, of course, that they scored touchdowns on multiple times in the Super Bowl. And once again, I know people want to make the Patrick Holmes is a GOAT debate. I'm okay with that. The issue is the red zone. The first touchdown that they scored earlier in this game was a wide open touchdown in the red zone. And this is another case of it. Kelsey, this is a very simple thing he needs to do. Just occupy this corner. And that's exactly what he does. Kelsey's holding this corner. And look at this. God, this is gangster right here. I I want you to see Travis Kelsey didn't even watch the play. He even stopped running. He knew that this was going to work. That is nasty, and he's looking at the video board. Look at that. He's not even looking at the play. He knows that this is, uh, what, Clay Thompson, Steph Curry-level stuff, right? He's already knowing that this is a game. Okay, look, he even gave up, okay? Ha, 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 ha. That is so nasty right there, okay? It really, really, really is. Now, man, okay, um, can a rules expert help me out here? Is this a legal man downfield? Okay, please let me know if this should have been an illegal man downfield penalty. It makes me think that it is. Is this an RPO right here? Um, because look at look at this. I mean, I understand that um, earlier in the game that it could have been an illegal man downfield on the Christian McCaffrey trick play. Um, I think in the NFL, the rule is one yard past the line of scrimmage. Okay. Um, And it does look like they are one yard past uh, the line of scrimmage here uh, when Mahomes is throwing this football. But still, that is abso-freaking-lutely redunculous. Huh? 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 It felt like San Francisco played the overall better game. And in particular, it's because of that first half. But the truth is, whether you believe in Taylor Swift conspiracies or you just want to talk about the halftime show, anytime Patrick Mahomes has um, plus money and is the underdog, you obviously take that opportunity because the guy is so freaking good. And it's also Andy Reid. This was a lot of fun. And when you actually break this stuff down, it's honestly very simple stuff. And if you actually believe in this one concept, um, the idea of an offense isn't necessarily to have the absolute best athletes. Yes, it does help have uh, having Tyreek Hill in the early years and Travis Kelsey, but you got to look at it from a Kansas City point of view, right? Look at all the elite talents that have turned out to just be not really elite talents, right? Sky Moore was a high round draft pick, didn't work out. My guy Clyde Edwards Hilaire really hadn't worked out. Um, you know, obviously the great Kadarius Tony. Um, you know, he won them a Super Bowl last year with the punt returns and him and Sky Moore caught um, and made big plays last year. No big deal. And the reason why it is not a big deal is because of these play designs and the greatness of Patrick Mahomes. It's just easy stuff, easy completions. And defensively, you've got to do a better job of making life difficult for them, but it's really freaking hard because it does seem at all times they have all the answers. So, yeah, 49ers, I think they're favored to win next year's Super Bowl, and I can't wait to see if they're going to get back at this spot. And let me know my first NFL video here on Power Hour NFL. If you would like me to do a San Francisco 49ers offense breakdown towards the end, it is Power Hour NFL. And tonight, we are doing, oh, some Elote's corn dip. Let's go.